Today I will be selling some rare Yu-Gi-Oh items. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some items that I have for sale, but first we have a giveaway. I'm giving away the Exodia Necros that we pulled in that awesome video. Make sure to go check that out in the eye. It was an amazing video. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card or item that I am selling in this video. In today's video, I'm selling some pretty high-end items. I'm trying to keep the prices fairly reasonable. However, they are still expensive. So keep in mind, this is not for everyone, but I figured that a lot of you guys would still enjoy seeing the cards, etc., even if you're not interested in buying them. First, we're going to go through the graded cards, then I'll get to the sealed items. So first, we have Defensive Tactics. This may or may not be sold by the time you guys see this video. I did put everything up on Instagram for the graded stuff, and some stuff has sold, so I won't put it in here if it's already sold. The Defensive Tactics Ultimate Rare from Glass. It's not an extremely exciting card, but it is an Ultimate Rare PSA 10 from a very rare set, pretty much. It's a pretty nice card. I was asking $100. I think it might have sold, but we're just going to throw it in here just in case. Then we have a Sangha of the Thunder. I thought this was first edition. It is not. It is unlimited, so keep that in mind. I think the case is actually pretty clean on this one. Some of the cases are not very clean just keep that in mind these are all from the 40k video if you guys did not see it go check it out i'm selling these for someone it's on consignment by the way all of these are open for offer if you do make an offer if someone claims it over you at full price then they're going to get priority keep that in mind also if you want to contact me hit me up on instagram twitter they're both at ruxin34 and then on my email is rodneyruxin34 at gmail.com you guys can send me messages about what you're interested in this one does have a little bit more of a scratched up case here uh, but it is not the card keep that in mind but you would maybe have to re-slab it if that bothers you Oh, it does have the former sleeve in there. They used to do this, but they don't anymore. This one, I'm asking $150 for this. Next, we have a fiber jar. This is also an unlimited. This is a PSA 10, though, from LOD, which is pretty cool to see. We are asking $200 for this one. So there's a little scratch right there on the case. Let's see if we can show everything. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff in there. So keep all that in mind when you are watching this. We're going to try and show everything so you guys don't have to worry about asking for more and stuff like that. We've got a Chthonian Emperor Dragon. This is a pretty cool card. Ultimate Rare First Edition from Tactical Evolution. You don't see this card too much, so it's pretty nice. Let's go through. Is there anything too crazy here? It looks like it's pretty nice. The case isn't too beat up. Okay, wait. Is there someone there? Okay, nothing good. Or nothing bad, I should say. The sleeve is all right. Yeah, just a sleeve in the back. Honestly, this card looks pretty clean. This one I am asking $300, so if you're interested in that, hit me up. I really like that card. It looks nice. Then we have a Forceful Sentry. This is a PSA 10 from Magic Ruler. This one, I'm surprised there was not a sale. When I was looking for sales for all the prices and stuff, I couldn't find one. So I guess, I think I put $450, but let's, let's just make it $400. I was really surprised that nothing has sold for this one, so I don't know the deal with that is but this looks pretty good i think there's a little maybe a little smudging there on the case not too terrible the card looks pretty nice in the corners it looks pretty good is that on the case right there i think we got it off yeah we did okay okay that corner's got a little bit of whitening there keep that in mind but overall pretty nice card forceful sentry asking 400 for that one then we have the yz tank cannon magician's force first edition so this one is from a very rare set at this point it's only a super rare though Let's see. This looks pretty good. I think the cover, I mean, the foil looks pretty good. There's a little bit of, maybe a tiny bit of scuffing on the case, but I feel like that could get wiped off if I got a little um, cloth. Uh, corners look pretty good on this one. So I am asking 400 for this one as well. So pretty nice card. I think, was there some back... Uh, there's usually some back like scuffing on Magician's Force. I can't really see it in there, but maybe there's a little bit. The next one is Harpy Lady Sister. It has a slight fade to it, but it's not super faded. Pretty cool. Corners look pretty good. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, all look pretty good there. I don't think the case is too jack. Okay, there is some okay, there's some case issue there. Let's take the cloth to it. Just wipe it down, see if this will help a little bit. Uh, it helped a little, but there's the scratches are obviously not going to come off. It's the smudges you're trying to go for. So, a little bit scratched up on the case, it seems. So, not the best case overall. There is a big smudge right there, so keep that in mind. I think it was like 4... What was it? What was the last thing? It was like 480, so like 450 for this one. First edition, slight fade, Harpy Lady Sisters. Then we have the Skull Archfiend of Lightning, Dark Crisis First Edition. One of the coolest cards. I mean, they made Summon Skull into the Lightning Monster <laughs> or that he that he should be, I guess. Even though he's still a fiend, so really, is he lightning? I don't know. <laughs> Can't keep up. It's kind of funny. All right, very nice card. Uh, a little bit of a scratch there or a scuff there, whatever that is. Yeah, it's not a scratch. That's like a like that could maybe come off too. Yeah, the back looks like there's some scuffing. There might be some, I can't tell if that's on the card or not, just from the Dark Crisis, you know, the back of it, that's just how it is sometimes with those. That print run around MFC and Dark Crisis, that looks like PSA, you know, went crazy on it and got some stuff in there, which is always unfortunate. So there's the Skull Archfiend asking 450 for this one. 
Next up is Seven Tools of the Bandit, a first edition Metal Raiders Ultra Rare, which is very cool. Let's check this out. Looks to be pretty decent. We've got the back. Looks to be pretty good. Let's see, what was it like? Okay, there's a little bit of scuffing on this case as well. In that part. Okay, there's some scuffing on this case. Was asking 750, but I think we're going to drop it down to 700 or best offer. So you guys can make an offer. It's at 700 right now if you want to claim it. So seven tools of the bandit. Very cool. Now we're getting to some even bigger ones. We have the Imperial Order first edition for Magic Ruler. Secret rare. No, Magic Ruler. Pharaoh Servant. Different set. Okay, Pharaoh Servant. We got that. Uh, we got the corners here. This is the non Jinzo, you know, the one you don't really want. The centering is not fantastic fantastic on this card but it's not too bad this side to side is actually like perfect but then top to bottom is a little bit off but you guys know they're a little bit more lenient with that okay big scratch on the back that is on the case though by the way let's see if there's anything on the card looks pretty good looks pretty good let me know in the below do you guys how much do you guys care about scratches on the cases i've always found that interesting because like it's not really on the card but it's like it's on the display part so it's a little bit annoying it is kind of a weird thing to like how much do you care a lot about it you can always recase it it's kind of a pain though to have to recase it so let me know in the comments if you guys collect psa cards what do you think about scratches on the case even if you don't collect psa cards what would you think would you not like it would you not mind because you could just replace it or whatever even though i have heard horror stories of bgs like you try to recase it and then they like try to knock your grade back down it's like whoa whoa calm down buddy so so that card looks pretty good for the card side of it rather than just the case i think we were asking like 850 on this one so it's going to be 800 now 800 dollars to claim the imperial order secret rare next up we have a big one barrel dragon first edition psa 10 for metal raiders one of the coolest cards we have this is a nice left right corner we got bottom corners look pretty good what is that little scratches yes a little bit of scuff not too bad on this one actually pretty nice case overall let's see maybe on that bottom corner there's a little scratching as well then the back we have what do we have we have a little bit of scuffing but not much actually pretty good corners Corners look pretty good. Yeah, I think those corners are pretty solid. Overall, pretty nice in terms of case and card. This one, I am asking $1,500. We're getting into that crazy range where these cards are getting really expensive. If you're interested, of course, hit me up. We still got four that top it, though. I'm trying to go in order of price so we can like start with the smaller ones, get to the bigger one. Exodia Necros. PSA 10, Dark Crisis, the cover card. Incredible. Corners look really good on this guy. Just absolutely iconic. Check out the artwork. Before we get too crazy, let's just check out the artwork. The black Exodia, the dark Exodia, whatever you want to call it. I mean, he looks absolutely amazing. Like, I love this card. All right, let's check the, uh, the front. Looks pretty good. I'm hoping mine grades a 10. I think I sent mine, like, forever ago, so hopefully it'll eventually, you know, get back here. I should have just spent it, sent it on Express, but I didn't. Um, wow, this looks pretty good. It, ha it has the sleeve in there, which means it's nice and protected, which is, I kind of wish they would still do that. You can't see them as well like that, though, but it's still really nice. Okay, this looks good. Honestly, this Necros looks really nice. Uh, asking $2,100 or best offer on this one. Yeah, we're getting crazy expensive, but this is in one of those weird cases where it's like you can see... It's, it's in a Pokemon size case, basically. So all this extra space is there, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they did that for a while. We have three more graded cards. Then we have a few sealed items. We have a Time Wizard Metal Raiders first edition. Yeah, check out that corner. It looks good. Looks good. The classic Time Wizard, Joey Wheeler. Love to see him at the right and the left corner. Wait, what is going on there? Wow, the case is like scratched in the perfect spot where it lo kind of looks like it's bent almost. But yeah, that looks like it is scratching on the case. Okay, we have left corner, right corner, all right, bottom right, bottom, wait, bottom left. Does that have something? Tiny bit of whitening on that, so keep that in mind. The surface looks pretty good. A little bit of scuffing on the case, but not too much. The um, Not too much scuffing except on that corner in the uh, on the case, of course. So this one looks pretty good overall. A little bit of scuffing on the case overall. Asking $2,500 for this one. And we have the Blue Eyes Tune Dragon, the Legendary Tune. We have the left and the right. There was a big scuff on this case. It is pretty scratched up, uh, but I was able to get the scuff off, so that was good. And then left and right corners there. Yeah, the scratching on this side is a little bit not great. It's not great, but that is on the case, not the card. The back has... A little bit on there but there is a sleeve in there so that's definitely not on the card all right so very cool card definitely not the best case shape but the card appears to be in pretty oh we need to bit check the back corners real quick make sure i, I kind of glanced at them but what is that anything on there 
No, it looks pretty good. And tiny bit of whitening there. So pretty good overall. We're going to be asking $3,400 for this one. And the final graded card, we have a Ghost Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon from Haunted in Mine. This is a very, very tough card to grade because almost every time there are a bunch of scratches on the foil. Let's see if there's anything we can see here. This appears to be on the case. It's hard to tell with the case kind of scratched up, but these are very, very hard to grade because there's almost always a scratch coming out of the pack and just getting lucky enough to actually grade one of these a 10 is very difficult. And there's not a lot of price data on this one. I know Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube sold one for $3,000 a few years ago, like 2019. So I don't know what it's turned into at this point. I think the pop is like 16 or 15 or something like that overall. For the only Blue Eyes Ghost Share, as for now, until Ghost in the Past 2, but the original one, it does have some scratches on the case as well keep that in mind the back corner has a tiny bit of whitening tiny bit of whitening and there's some whitening as well uh, so this card definitely does have its issues. I think that when it comes to this kind of PSA 10, the actual card is usually about the same as a 9. So keep that in mind if you guys are interested. I don't have an asking price for this. I know that one was sold for 3000 in 2019. I don't really know where it goes from there. It's not the strong, it's not really a strong 10 to be honest. I mean, just looking at it, those corners are not great, especially that one. Um, but it's just the fact that it is actually graded a 10. So keep that in mind. If you guys want to offer on it, then send me an offer and we'll see what we can do with this thing. I really don't know what to ask because there's absolutely no sales data so just send me an offer if you guys are interested in that one now we have a few sealed items we have two strike of neos blisters these are from that purchase that i made a while back we've opened a lot of these there are two left on my website ruxon34.com you don't have to message me about these you can just go to ruxon34.com and buy them i think they're at 125 something like that. I can't remember exactly. You can check out the website down below. Then we have another blister pack, a unlimited legacy of darkness blister pack. So if you guys are interested in this, hit me up. I can't, I don't think I ever listed this because it was unlimited. Uh, so probably asking like around a hundred dollars for this guy. Then we have two booster boxes. We have dragons of legend unleashed. I believe that this was like 200 and 50 last sold so we'll be asking around like 225 for this box i do have two of these so if you're interested in multiple hit me up also there's two then there's a dragons of legend 2 box this could potentially pull you the toon kingdom very cool box i think this one sold for like 170 so i'll be asking around 150 on this and finally, I have one of each 10. We have Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight from 2004, I believe. Not 2005. I was about to say 2005. That's not right. Swift Gaia. We've got a... What is this guy called? I always forget his name. Total Defense Shogun. You got, there's a big fan base for this card every time I make fun of it. So I'm not going to make fun of it this time. Oh, I actually have two of each of these. I sold two 10s already. So there's like one of a couple of them. I can't remember which one they were. We have the Command Knight. The Insect Queen. Weevil is in here. Just keep that in mind. Also... Keep in mind, these have Invasion of Chaos and Magicians for so that's what the coolest part about these tins. The Blade Knight. I remember getting one of these in Dallas and opening it up in the hotel room. That was fun. And then the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. So all of those will be available on Ruxin34.com. You don't have to hit me up at all. You just go to Ruxin34.com and buy them. $400 per tin. So that's it for the sale video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this stuff, even if you're not interested in buying it. I know it's like very expensive for a lot of people, so it's only for specific collectors that actually want this stuff or want to open it up or whatever. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, and Spanky McFarlane. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.